Hey guys, welcome to Tectric Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to use Monday.com for task management. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Monday.com is a user-friendly online platform that is widely used for task management. It's like a digital workspace where teams can organize, collaborate, and track their work efficiently. Think of it as a virtual whiteboard where you can create lists, tasks, and set deadlines. What makes it popular is its simplicity. You don't need to be a tech expert to use it. People from different fields like businesses, schools, and even individuals use Monday.com to keep their projects on track. It is a place where you can see who's responsible for what, when things are due, and what's already done. So whether you're working with a team or trying to manage your personal task, Monday.com helps make everything more organized and productive. To begin, visit Monday.com in your web browser. And to get started, click on this Get Started button in here so that you can sign up for a free account without needing a credit card. So you just simply need to enter your email or you could use your Google account. And if you have an account already, just simply click on to log in. Now, once you've signed off, you'll land on Monday.com's dashboard. This platform organizes work into different workspaces, each containing various boards. Now, let's create a new workspace. So, you can add a new one here at the bottom, but you can also add in here. Just simply click onto the plus button and then add a new workspace. A workspace in Monday.com is like a digital place where you can manage your tasks and projects. It is organized into boards, which are like project boards. Each board has a list which groups tasks together. Tasks are the things you need to do, so a workplace help you to keep track of your work in an organized way. Now you can also update the workspace name in here. So let's try to change it to task management. So we'll just need to simply type it in here. You can also update the privacy to open and close. And then right after, just click on to add workspace. Now it's time to choose a template. Just click onto this button in here. And templates in Monday.com for task management are like ready-made setups that make it easy to start organizing your task. Instead of building everything from scratch, you can pick a template that suits your need. It's like getting a pre-designed plan for how to arrange your task. These templates already have columns and sections set up, so you just need to add your task into the right places. It is actually a quick way to start being productive without spending time how to figure out how to set things up. Just choose a template, add your task, and you're on your way to getting things done. You can actually give feedbacks as well for the templates. Just simply click here onto the upper part. Now, if you found your preferred template for your task management, just simply click onto it. So I think we're going to be using this one. So this is the Agile Project Management. So you can see the description in here. And there is also a preview on how the template looks like onto the bottom part. So just simply click on to use template so that you could use this one. So after choosing a template, now here's what your new workspace would look like. Now onto this upper part in here, you can see the main table, Kanban, the current quarter, and you can also add another view in here. So we have table, can, chart, calendar, Kanban files gallery form, and a blank view in here. Now simply click onto the board that you want to add. So let's try to add Gan in here. And here's how it would look like. So it was already added so you could delete it as well just click onto the three dots and then right after click on delete so it was successfully deleted already so since we've used a template for this workspace the name of it is a name from the template so we can update that one so let's change it to my task so just simply click onto it and type in the new name now right after let's change the view to kanban so just simply click on kanban in here Using the Kanban view in Monday.com for creating a task management workspace is a smart choice because it's like having a visual to-do list that is super easy to understand. Imagine having cards with your task on a board. You move these cards from one column to another as you progress. So it's like seeing your task flow from to do to doing to done. So this helps you know what's happening with your task at a glance. You don't need to dig into details all the time. It's simple and clear, making it a great for tracking tasks, especially when you want a quick overview of your progress. The simplicity and clarity makes it a powerful tool for tracking tasks and making sure nothing gets overlooked. 
and the progress can be easily shared within your team. Now let's add a new item. So just simply click onto this blue button in here, the item name. So let's update it to task. You can also update the owner, the opportunity in here. So you have different choices. Also, you can also update the priority. So you could add it in high, medium or low. You can also add in the domain, the tier, the scope defined. And once you're done, just simply click on create item. In monday.com, these items are like the building blocks of your task and projects. They're the individual things you need to get done. Imagine them as little pieces on a to-do list. Each item can have its own details, like who's doing it, when it's due, and what's important. You can put all your items together in a list or a group, and that's how you start managing your work. So whether it's finishing a report, setting up a meeting, or even buying groceries, items help you track of everything you need to do. So this is very easy to navigate as well. Since in Mondays.com Canvan view, we have the drag and drop feature. So this is like moving cards on a board. Imagine you have task cards and columns. With drag and drop, you can easily pick up a task card and move it and drop it in another column. So it's like changing the status of your task just by moving them around. This will help you see what's getting done and what's not at a glance. It is a simple way to organize tasks and keep track of your progress. So you can also simply import a new item. Just simply click onto this drop down and click on import data. So you have the option in here to import data from Excel to Monday.com. So this feature in Monday.com is like a shortcut to bring in task or information from other places. So instead of typing everything manually, you can use this feature to quickly add a bunch of tasks all at once. So it's like copying a list you have somewhere else and pasting it in here. This is really handy when you're moving from another tool or if you have a long list of tasks that you want to start managing in mondays.com. So the import item feature saves you time and effort, making it easier to get started and organize on the platform. So we also have the integrate option in here and we could also automate this. Now to view in full screen, just click onto this button in here and now you can see your workspace onto full view. So we also have settings in here. So you can update the friend columns that you want to see in here. So this is actually very handy since you'd be able to just see the information that you want to see onto your workspace. So this will keep it more simple and organized. So just simply tick onto the boxes that you want to see. So those are the things that are going to be viewed only onto your workspace. You can also add in more information onto different items. Just simply click onto it. On here onto this part, you can write in an update for this specific item. And you also have the option to react and your teams can also react onto this specific update. They could also add in a reply. And you can also see who have seen this update. And there you have it. You've learned the basics of using Monday.com for task management. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on our next video.